please hit that subscribe button. Hey everybody. Better suited to win the Stanley Cup. This is you are new to the channel, the Washington Capitals, the Boston Bruins. Locked out and he scores! And we're live. Hey everybody. So the NHL trade deadline is still a week away, but teams are wasting no time uh, making their deals and going in all in on the trade market here. One of the biggest targets on the market this season is now off of it. Tyler Toffoli of the LA Kings has been traded to the Vancouver Canucks for forward Tim Schaller, a 2020 second round pick. Prospect Tyler Madden and a conditional fourth round pick. And the condition is, is that Toffoli re-signs with, Van, with Vancouver. They get that fourth round pick as well. If, the, if he doesn't, then they don't. Um, but uh, yeah, huge, huge deal here um, for Tyler Toffoli. And another major, major uh, tra tra tradable commodity off the market now as teams are starting to gear up for their late season and playoff runs. So Tyler Toffoli, I had ranked as the number two trade target at the deadline this year. Obviously, Chris Kreider, I have number one. Toffoli, I think, was number two right behind him, and he is now off the board still a week before deadline day. So teams are not waiting around here. Um, Toffoli, obviously, we know what Tyler Toffoli is. He's a very, very good player. Um, more, I would say a second line guy, uh, solid goal scorer. He's got 18 goals this year and 34 points with the Kings. He just had the hat trick in the stadium series game on Saturday night. Um, and, and a guy pending UFA who the Kings, we knew were, were going to be moving at the deadline this year. Now, Vancouver, obviously this is full on go time now for the Vancouver Canucks. Rebuild mode is over. Um, they give up a grade-A prospect in Tyler Madden, a roster player in Tim Schaller, and a second-round pick and maybe a fourth-round pick um, uh, in this deal. Rebuild time is over for the Vancouver Canucks. They're, they've got their core now with Horvat, Patterson, Besser, Quinn Hughes on the back end. They are full-on in win-now mode, and they're going all-in on this season, looking to make a deep playoff run, and they gave up quite a bit to get Tyler Toffoli. So, listen, I don't really like to say either team wins or loses these kinds of trades because... Both teams get what they want. Is this a lot to give up if you're the Vancouver Canucks? Yes, absolutely. And I'll talk, you know, Tyler Madden, guys, is a highly, highly touted prospect. He, he goes to Northeastern University uh, right now. He's 20 years old. He is a very, very good player. He had a great freshman year uh, last year with 28 points in 36 games. This season, he was having a breakout year. He did get injured. Um, this past weekend playing for Northeastern, and he's going to miss some significant time. But he was having a breakout season this year, uh, 37 points in 27 games, including 19 goals for, for Northeastern this year. I mean, Tyler Madden is a high-end prospect. So that is a great, great return there for the LA Kings. They get the second-round pick as well, which could turn into something nice, a, a solid bottom six roster player who doesn't make a huge difference in this deal either way, but Vancouver needed to dump some salary to make this work. So, um, you know, th this is a nice return, particularly the prospect for uh, for the LA Kings and the second round pick as well. Uh, but that doesn't mean, just because Vancouver gave up a lot to get him doesn't mean that this is a bad trade for Vancouver because Vancouver is trying to win now. L.A. is not. L.A. is done. They're, they're a rebuilder now. They're a rebuilding team. They are looking to acquire assets like Tyler Madden, like a second round pick for the future that can help this team three, four, five years down the road. Not necessarily right now. Vancouver, they're not thinking about three, four, five years down the road. They're thinking about putting guys on that on this roster that can win right now. In Vancouver, I think this year we have seen that switch with them bringing in JT Miller, with them bringing in Tyler Myers. We have seen that switch from rebuilder to winning. And, and Vancouver's now all in on winning. So I'm not going to say either team won or lost this trade. I do think that Vancouver gave up a lot for Tyler Toffoli, but that's the market right now. That is what it costs to get a top six winger in onto your roster and, and Vancouver just had to decide do we pay that or not and obviously 
obviously here they have chosen to pay it. So, um, you know, overall, I think, you know, both teams get, you know, what they want here to Foley, high end top six goal scorer. We'll go into Vancouver, play quality minutes, probably score a decent number of goals for them and help the Canucks. And if you're the Kings, you know, you get you get a second round pick and you get a very high end prospect in return for Tyler Toffoli. So um, I, I, I really do think that both teams got what they wanted here with this with this deal. And let me just say between the, the price that Tampa Bay played paid for Blake Coleman and the price that uh, Vancouver has now paid for Tyler Toffoli. I cannot imagine what this Chris Kreider deal, if he does get traded, is going to look like. Somebody is going to pay an astronomical price to get Chris Kreider onto their team because Toffoli's a very good player, but Kreider is that is one step above that. Kreider is considered a little bit higher level than what Tyler Toffoli is. So I, maybe not by a lot, but he's definitely you know the number one guy on this market. So if Tyler Toffoli fetches this, and Blake Coleman fetches what he got from for uh, New Jersey from Tampa Bay with the high end prospect and a first round pick. Uh, I can only imagine what this Chris Kreider deal is going to look like if it does happen. They teams are paying steep prices at the deadline this year, to say the least, and we're just getting going. We're just getting started. Um, so you know, it, it really comes down to: Are you willing to pay that price to win right now, or do you stick it out with the team that you have and maybe not give up so many future assets? But we'll see how the rest of this week goes. We'll see how we go leading up to the deadline. But another major, major trade piece off the market: Tyler Toffoli, now a member of the Vancouver Canucks. So. With that, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description. If you'd like to further support the channel, links to our Patreon and merchandise store are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you guys soon.